Hi guys, Nighthawk here with another basic mixer tutorial. What I wanted to do was um, uh, do just a basic video on how to add panels uh, to your mixer section, uh, kind of like you're able to customize uh, your channel description and your avatar, your social thumbnail, things like that. Uh, so I'll jump right in. What you want to do is go to mixer.com. Um, you want to, this is basically an account that I created for tutorial purposes only. Uh, but if you go to Mixer.com, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get your main dashboard page. If you click in the upper right-hand corner, that uh, little bot there is your basic default logo. And what you want to do is click on it, this tab here. It says Manage Channel. And then you're going to want to focus on the Customize Channel. And there's some different areas in here that you can customize. First being your avatar. Um, this is like where you want to put whatever logo that you created for your channel. Um, you want to make sure you have something that's going to um, that's going to... Uh, represent you as a brand. That's something that people are going to notice. And when they see that logo, they're going to say, oh, that's Nighthawk or that's so-and-so. Like they're going to know that. So make sure you uh, you choose wisely. Do something that's uh, that represents you and in, in your community. Um, here on your social thumbnail, what this is, is if you uh, tweet out, like say that you're live and you say like, I'm live, mixer.com uh, slash NighthawkMX or your channel or whatever channel it is that you want to shout out. Um whatever you or whoever you're shouting out has uh, loaded here uh, will display as a social th thumbnail under that. So um, kind of really important to, as well to uh, be specific with that branding if that's something you want to utilize. But we're going to focus on here is the channel description. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to click edit. And in this area right here, um, you're going to be able to set up panels, uh, clickable links, uh, different things like that that you can set up. And so Mixer does things a little bit differently than what Twitch uh, does. In Twitch, they had an area you can click on. It was called Panels, and you could basically upload an image and add all the information you wanted to, and then you could rearrange them. This one's a little bit different. Um, what you're going to want to do is uh, you're going to want to use a website like Imager. And this is a free website. You can upload images to it. And so you're going to go to imager.com, create a... Create a free account. Um, if you already have one, just use your login that you already have. Uh, cr I'd suggest creating a folder. Like I have an album called Stream Stuff. So anything that has to do with streaming, I'll, I will put in here. Um, and what you're going to want to do is you want to go to Add Images, click Browse, and then go to the, the file on your computer that has all the uh, graphics that you want to use. And so I always start with the About Me just because I like to – say about me and then give just a basic uh, description of uh, my channel. And so I'm going to click that one. And then what you want to do from here is go back to Mixer. And in this little uh, section of buttons up here, you're going to see one called image and you're going to click on that image. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up uh, some different um, uh, areas here that you can fill in. And what you want to focus on is the URL portion. And what you're going to do is you're going to go back to Imager. You're going to click on that image that you just uploaded. And you're going to copy the direct link. You're going to copy that. You're going to go back to Mixer. And you're going to paste that in this section here. And then what you want to do is you're going to want to hit OK. Um, and what I do as well is I always try to center everything if I can. Just so that way it kind of looks nice. I don't know if it's going to work exactly, but... Then what you can come down here is just put, uh, you know, this is Nighthawk's stream here on the mixer. And then, you know, put put something that's going to be catchy, something that you want people to know about you and your channel. Maybe like what kind of games you play, um, maybe how long you've been streaming, you know, whatever you want to capture people's attention and you want them to know about yourself. So typically what I do after that is between these different sections, I'm going to add like a little, uh, like a break line is what I call it. And there's a little button called insert horizontal line here that you'll click on. And that's kind of just like a, it's a dividing line between sections. It kind of makes it look nice and clean. All right. Um, so for the second uh, one, I want to show you how to do would be uh, a, a panel that has a direct link, say to a, uh, like your Twitter or your Facebook or YouTube, something like that. Um, you're going to go to add images. Do the, basically the same thing. Find the one that you want to um, upload. So I'm going to click on Twitter for this example. You're going to click that, and you're going to click on the picture again. Make sure to copy the direct link. Go back to Mixer. You're going to add an image. Paste the link that you just 
uh, copied from Imager. And then what you hear is, is in this section, it's called link. And what that's going to do is when they click on that button or that panel, it's going to link to whatever you put into here. So for me, I'm going to go to my Twitter page, go to my home page here. I'm going to copy my URL address to Twitter. I'm going to paste it here. Hit OK. OK, perfect. Same thing. Make sure it's centered. Come down here. If you want, what I did on mine was I added my Twitter and I added my Facebook and my Discord and my YouTube and all that stuff without adding a space line here. Since they're all social media links, I kind of kept them in, an, in a group. But if you decide like, hey, I want to go ahead and add a div, uh, dividing line between all of them, you can do that as well. Um, uh, so the next thing I want to show you how to do is like if you want, I have another uh, section called like friends and I will show you what that, what I mean by that. So I'm going to come back here, look for the panel that says friends. I'm going to open that up. I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to copy the direct link of that image. Go back into mixer, add image, paste the link, hit OK. And then what I do under this one is this is where I put like links to uh, people that I'm really close to, close friends that stream on Mixer, maybe a stream team that I'm a part of, or other stream teams that I, my friends are a part of that I want to help promote. Uh, and you can do this by adding essentially like an embedded link. And what you're going to do is you're going to click on this little uh, link icon here. And this is the display text of what you want it to see. Well, sorry, to say. So I'm going to type the Magic Club. That's a stream team that I'm a part of here on Mixer. It's a great group of people. Um, and what you want to do is, so for this instance, I'm going back to Mixer. This is the link for that club. I'm going to copy that. Go back to Mixer here, and I'm going to paste that right here in this section. Okay. And so what that'll do is, if I save this, I want to show you what this looks like. If I save all that information, now that shows up as a uh, clickable link. So if I click that link now, it brings me to... Mixer.com and the Magic Club uh, stream team page. And you can do that for anything. You can do that for like any of your friends' streams. You can link to their channel. Any, basically anything you want to link to. Um, but uh, so that's basically kind of how I did that one. Now, if you notice uh, this Twitter, like the friends isn't clickable, but you look notice how the Twitter is actually clickable. So you click that and that will link to my Twitter page. So that's basically how you kind of set up those basic setups. Uh, just basic stationary panels, clickable panels. And then also, you know, clickable links that you can do as well. So I hope this uh, tutorial was uh, helpful to you. Uh, tried to keep it as short as possible, but wanted to make sure I uh, focused and covered on a lot of those different things that you can do. So if you have any questions, uh, make sure to uh, comment uh, in the description of the video. Make sure you uh, subscribe and, and uh, like the video as well. Share your feedback. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and we will see you guys uh, next video.